Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Kree Kane, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today's tutorial, we have the highly requested Redstone Bridge, or Redstone Draw Bridge, whatever you want to call it. Quickly, I have a little disclaimer slash warning. This is meant to be an easy, simple design. So with that, it causes it to be smaller. So I have a bridge straight across. The max will be is a six wide. You can have an eight wide gap, but it is forced to dip down in the middle. And when it tracks, there's still a block on the edge. Also, you can only have this two wide. So this is really easy and simple, but because of that, you're restricted with these things. So if you want a bigger design or a wider design, I suggest you go find another tutorial right now and click off this video. But if you're still here, let's get straight on into the materials. You'll need some solid blocks, 32 obsidian, 12 of your bridge blocks, 4 slabs, 10 slime blocks, 10 honey blocks, 12 sticky pistons, 3 droppers, 1 hopper, 1 redstone comparator, 18 redstone repeaters, 56 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, and 2 buttons. Now my last tutorial I was requested multiple times to put on the gold to yellow axolotl onesie. So if you would like to choose my axolotl onesie color for the next tutorial, leave a comment down below. Leave your request. I may just wear your color request. Without further ado, let's just get back into the video. First, obviously have your gap. Right here, I have a six wide gap. If you want to do an eight wide gap, have an eight wide gap. <laughs> if you want to do a three wide gap, have a three wide gap. But, you know, choose your gap. You can either have an eight, six, or three. I'm going to do the tutorial with six, but it will show how you can quickly change some things to do eight and three. There's not much of a difference though. But anyways, grab out your slabs. And in the ground, even where you're going to have your bridge, you're going to break the two blocks, place in two slabs on the lower half. Go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Should be looking like so. You can also use stairs if you like, but this is just meant to have an easy way to walk up onto it. As you, since it's a block lower from the ground, you need an easy way to just simply walk up. Now get out your bridge blocks, your honey, and your slime block. Right below the slabs, going towards the back, do a 2 by 3 of your bridge blocks. Like so. Do the same on the other side. 2 by 3 of bridge blocks. Now on one side, do 3 blocks of honey right below that, and then 3 blocks of slime right below that, and then just do the opposite on the other side. So you're going to have slime first, and then honey second. So honey should be a diagonal from honey, and slime should be diagonal from slime. Then on all the slime and the honey, you're going to go down to from the end. And you see down to honey and down to slime. Now you're going to place a temporary block and get three sticky pistons facing into all the slime and honey. Three sticky pistons facing in, three sticky pistons facing in, and three sticky pistons facing in. Now get out all your redstone dust and redstone repeaters. On the back of all these metal pistons, you're going to place a 2x2 two two of blocks. On that 2x2, two two, you're going to place four repeaters facing into the top pistons. First two, four ticks. Second two, two ticks. Crush place blocks on the back of those repeaters. Then on each side, get three rows of blocks with three blocks in a row going back. Then just have redstone dust going all across these blocks. On the bottom pistons, place a block. Feed it on top, three tick delay. Get your obsidian block and have it going into an obsidian block. Down to the side of this, we're going to place a block. Repeater, no tick delay needed. We're going to have this repeater going into a block. This block right next to redstone dust. Then on the inside of the redstone dust, we're going to have it right next to another obsidian block. Go back around. And on the back of this repeater, we're going to pile place block. Then put redstone dust, oops, redstone dust on top. Bottom piston. We have another repeater, three tick delay, same thing as last time, going into a obsidian block, down to the side, repeater, no tick delay, going into a block, right next to the redstone dust, obsidian block on the inside. Back around, crouch place a block, redstone dust on top. Now if you want, you can get out your button, place it on the back, and you can press it, test it, see if it works. It does work. And let's go around to the other side and do the exact same redstone. Four repeaters, four tick delay, four tick delay, two tick, two tick, redstone dust all the way around like so. Down one, repeater, three tick delay. Obsidian block, off to the side, repeater, no tick delay needed, into a block, redstone dust, obsidian block inside, crash place a block on the back of the repeater, redstone dust going down. Same thing on the other side, block, repeater, three tick delay, going into obsidian block, block down below, repeater, going into a block, redstone dust, obsidian block on the inside. Background, crash place block on the back of the repeater, redstone dust on top of that. You can now test this with your button again, place it on the back of the block, press it, should triple extend and triple retract. If you're having any problems, check to make sure you have your obsidian, make sure you're building out of solid blocks, and make sure your repeaters are all on the correct tick delay. Now we're gonna finish up the obsidian. You're gonna go out one more, out two more, and then out three more. One more, two more, three more. One more, two more, three more. One more, two more, three more. 
should be looking like this. Now on top, place your buttons wherever you like, but I'm simply just going to go off to the side two blocks away from the little staircase type thing. And I'm having my buttons right here, but you can pretty much have them wherever. It's just going to change up a little bit. So if you want, you could also move it back or move it in a block like this, but it's just going to work the same exact way. I'm going to do a five staircase going down. So for me, that's reaching the ground, but we're using five blocks to make a staircase. One, two, three, four, five. Now do the same on the other side. Two, five block staircases right here. Now both staircases, we're gonna have redstone dust going all the way down to the bottom block, like so. And both sides have to go down in one and then break these four blocks, or at least for me, I have to break them. And I have another row of four going across. The redstone dust to the right of this four, we're gonna break that, get out our droppers and hopper. We're gonna break the block in front of it, facing towards all the redstone and the actual bridge. We're gonna get a dropper facing in, so the face should be in here. Then in between the redstone dust, we're gonna get a dropper facing up, so this hole should be towards the sky. Then on top of that hole, we're gonna have another dropper facing back towards the first dropper, like so. And then we're gonna crouch place a hopper facing down into the first dropper, so this dropper is facing into this hop. That felt like a tongue twister, but like not really. Coming out of the first dropper, we're gonna break this block and have a comparator. If there's not really a block here, you're gonna place one like so and off to the left and off to the right you're going to place in repeaters then if there's not already a block here you're going to want to go up a block and then just extend out redstone to the right you're going to extend out five redstone and to the left you're going to extend out six redstone so on both sides you should be even with these repeaters the first block after this repeater you're going to go up three blocks and only place redstone dust on the first two up three blocks redstone dust on the first two on the inside of the third block have a redstone torch Block on top, block in front, redstone dust here, should turn it all on, activate it all. Do the other side, redstone torch on the inside, block on top, block in front, redstone dust on that block, should turn it all on, like so. Now in the dropper that's facing upward, sandwiched in between the redstone, we're going to add in whatever your random item is. Mine is gray dye, you can use dirt, you can use diamonds, you can use bricks, you can use stone, you can use seeds, you can use, I don't know, you can really use anything. Now we can just go up, press our button. And you see, should open up, should close up, or wait, this is open, this is closed. Yeah, I'm getting confused. But we can go over to the other button, we can use this button all day long, does not matter. You can use this button, and then we can use it again, and then we can go over and we can use this button. It doesn't matter what side. Pretty sweet, and you can see, I'm just using it all day, no problems whatsoever. Now let's say you want to do the 8 wide one. Now as before, as I said, you know, there is this one block out. To be honest, for me... That's not a big deal. I think the biggest deal is if you want a straight, you want it to be straight like the six wide, you know, and you don't want the dip down. That may be the biggest problem. But the only difference is you're just going to need a little bit more redstone. Same exact thing. It hooks up the exact same way. The only difference is it's an eight wide gap and you add in some more redstone in between. That's it. Works the exact same way and it's pretty sweet. The eight wide one, once again, is the exact same thing. Redstone barely changes. The only thing that changes is since it's a three wide gap, it is much, much closer. And since three is only half of the six, we only need to do half of the six. So you only need one side. Now on this one side, and you see we have the T flip flop. And since there's not two sides, we don't have to go out in two directions. It goes up and goes to this and only this. Since it's the only redstone. We you know, press the button, works perfectly fine. The only problem I see with this, and I don't really get about it, is I don't really know why you want this, because you can just jump the gap. But I can understand if you maybe want to be flashy and, you know, flex a little bit on your friends. But let's quickly get on to what if it doesn't work. Doesn't work, check all your repeater timings. Make sure you're not building out of non solid blocks, so make sure you're building out of things like stone, dirt, bricks, uh, wood, terracotta, concrete, blocks like that. Make sure you're in wool. Make sure you're building out blocks like that and not something like glass. Make sure your obsidian is all in the correct places and make sure there's nothing blocking the pistons or the honey and slime block whatsoever so it can push to its max capabilities, we'll, we'll say. So when it's closed, you won't want any blocks like this, anything like that, because that won't be any good. But that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash like, subscribe, new, as we post days. Pretty much all I gotta say. See you next one. Goodbye.